Hey guys, it's Larry. So today, what we're going to do is test a concept that I had to make a stop motion wire armature. You can go out and buy really expensive $100, $200 armatures online. So what a lot of people do to not spend $150, $100, $200, aluminum armature wire like this and epoxy we twist the aluminum wire, double it up, double the strength, and use the epoxy as bones over the aluminum to make them immovable and then leave the aluminum wire bare where a joint would be. So your knees, your elbows, your neck, your fingers, able to move freely, completely free, wherever you can bend uh, metal, it'll be able to do that. So the problem with that is metal fatigue. Over time, the constant bending and unbending and rebending, uh, and you're, you're doing 24 frames a second, that's one little movement per 24th of a second over a five, eight minute long film. The concept is to find a happy medium between $8 and a $200 armature. So I spent a little bit of time researching, asking around, and these are wooden beads that you can get. 14 millimeter wooden beads, and this is, I think, a 12 millimeter inner diameter. Sure is. Half inch. This is more armature wire inside. It's way thinner the whole table way 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 thinner uh, I got some wire snippers here and I'm gonna talk you through this as I'm doing it the wire hanger and after I clipped it it shot right into the trash can the point of this steel rod is to replace this armature wire like I said, you're going to put Loctite on the armature wire to make it completely immovable and to strengthen it. Steel rods don't move that great for minute positioning. If you wanted to make a, a, an armature wire skeleton out of this stuff, you're going to be in a world of hurt. It's not going to move how you want it to move. It's, and that force that you put on it might not be 100% focused where you want it. It's really hard to control that amount of energy in your body. Bump your whole puppet, might bump the whole set, ruin the whole set. So this is going to take the place of this and this. So step one, we're going to take one of these, this is like a pack of 100 I got for eight bucks. These things are pretty tiny. This this would be perfect for everything, every joint, neck, shoulders, uh, your hip, for, for your legs, eyeballs. The idea is, that's your bone, okay? If you have a ball and socket joint, this is gonna be the ball, and this is gonna be the bone, and now we have to build a socket. If you can create a socket that holds a ball in place, it's not going to cause any stress on any of the metal components, and you're not going to create metal fatigue in your armature wire. And that is what the really expensive professional pieces do in order to mitigate that risk. They use ball and socket joints. So we're gonna make a poor man's ball and socket joint today. So I'm gonna clip the bone right about here. That thing loves going back in the trash. We're gonna cut off just a little bit. We don't need that whole much. Gosh, this stuff stinks. Oh my God. I think I got this for about three or four bucks. Be rock hard. 
I don't even know if this stuff is rated for metal. I just got the cheapest epoxy I could find. Roll it out. Remember how you're a kid with no creativity in preschool and they gave you Play-Doh and you just made an army of worms? You can see I got epoxy running all the way through it. My bone. Thread my bone through the epoxy. The ball joint with the bone. So this steel rod is now secured from both the inside and the outside of my ball joint. So it says wear gloves. Did not do that. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna take these. These are O-rings designed for crochet. And they are made of plastic. And what these bad boys are going to do is grip I'm gonna grip my wooden ball like that. And my math was wrong. I think these O rings might be too small for what I need them for. We're gonna find out. These guys are internal tooth serrated lock washers. Their main application is for electronics. They hold they hold the ball in place and that that's incredible now the downside is they dig into the wooden ball they do they do I bought these crochet o-rings these are the wrong size o-rings way too small way 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 too small but we're gonna see if I can get away with just using these lock washers the reason why I picked serrated it was never for the serrations to dig into the wooden ball it was to route wire through the grooves wrap them in over the top and lock these two together and then you can position the ball in any direction that you needed to so I'm not I'm not completely disheartened that my o-rings came out too small proof of concept right there is exactly what I have so we're gonna see if it works on this and I hope it does Okay. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is going to work. This is going to work. I'm excited. This is going to work. All right. 1 16th inch aluminum wire. Like a glove. So we're going to take this. We're going to run this through the top. Yes. 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 And I'm going to thread every other tooth. And that worked beautifully. I'm going to anchor the aluminum excess like that. So it goes up, down, through the teeth, and a little bit of excess. I've curled right back underneath the washer. Every other left foot you say kill. I'm sewing two pieces of metal and it's tight on one side which makes sense because I'm sewing this together in a circle so what have I learned this is definitely not evenly spaced all the way around and that might be a problem it might be easier to move at a certain angle than at others which would be a huge headache for animation. Don't want to do that. I want it to be consistent. OK. 
it's already a tedious process to take a picture and move it a fraction of a fraction of an inch. Yeah, it's it does not, it does not want to be evenly spaced. See, that's right up next to each other, and that's about the distance I want it to be. And what's to keep this from, from loosening up over time? All right, let's test it. So I'm gonna make it go fractionally from here to here, and it should not move after I don't like that I do not like this at all yeah As you saw I just wiggle up a little bit out of place oh wait hold on hold on no but I don't want to keep messing with my puppet to make sure that it holds its place so that worked I was able to go from here doesn't want to go over here so much. This is really hard. Okay, so that one did not want to work. We're going to try it again. All right, so took a little bit of a, a break. Thought of what happened with this and what I did wrong. Uh, I didn't destroy anything while I was making this. So I'm just gonna take all of this out. I'm gonna take these two lock washers. I'm gonna take a bunch of these little wires. And I'm gonna run it through two, come up over, twist it, cut off the excess. Hope that works. A good thing about this is I can actually do a star pattern and keep the spacing consistent. So that's already a pro. Bing, bang, boom. It's pretty even spacing all around. And the spacing is pretty uniform all the way around. Let's test it again. Off the bat, it does not move at all, which is great. Not really. I gotta think again on how to make this work. Hey guys, I'm back again. While I was away, I have perfected the design. What I have done is I have taken the lock washer, sandwiched a piece of sponge, oh, and then it's all bound together with the super thin, uh, thin 18 gauge aluminum wire and as you can see I only put where's the camera I only put two wires through it and it's holding really really nicely and to show it to all of you I'm gonna hold the back right here uh, when I put it into the model this is going to be secured to the uh, to the body of the puppet and I want to just same test I tried before you saw how smooth that was. Oh man, up, 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 up. This thing is moving great. And I pulled out the piece, the this the bone part, and I bent it a little bit so that uh, you can keep the arm straight down because the way it is, it it's hitting. The, the lock washer and so it it's like that it's at an angle but I took it out and I flipped it but I did that so I can show you as well as going along one axis and go back and forth and we can also spin in another axis this is the perfect amount I could just boop so I want to get my knife and I'm going to trim this up around. This is a bunch of trash that I put together. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Signing out.